In today's cartoon joke, we wonder what happens when a DEA agent with a narc's t-shirt hiding under his suit rolls up to a farm. Let's just say his badge might not impress the most dangerous thing he'll encounter. And it isn't a suspicious tomato plant. Attention all aspiring drug lords. Don't worry, the feds aren't reading this. Probably. Thinking about cooking up a batch of the blue stuff in your basement lab? Hold on to your hazmat suits because here's a crash course on the DEA, the guys and gals who would love to bust down your door and replace your chemistry set with a participation trophy in jail. What is the DEA, you ask? Well, picture this. A group of highly trained badge-wielding folks with a serious case of caffeine jitters and a wardrobe that screams Miami Vice on a business trip. Their official title? The Drug Enforcement Administration. Now, before you start sweating under your fedora, here are some fun facts to keep in mind. Budget Bungle. The DEA has a budget that could buy a small island nation a lot of legal weed. However, some folks whisper they're more interested in seizing drug money, think mountains of Funyuns and questionable fashion accessories, than stopping the flow of, well, drugs, med school mishap. The DEA has a talent for scheduling medications with proven medical benefits as illegal substances. This has led some to question if their meetings involve sipping herbal tea or something a little stronger. Fashion faux pas? Imagine a world where every day is dressed like a 1980s cop day. That's the DEA life. While their suits may be sharp, their undercover skills might leave something to be desired. Think Borat goes undercover at a rave. International intrigue, maybe. They're the so-called rock stars of drug enforcement, jetting off to exotic locales to chase down elusive drug lords. But let's be honest, their biggest international busts probably involve intercepting a shipment of questionable herbal supplements. Now, the DEA does some good stuff, don't get us wrong. They catch bad guys, stop illegal drug trafficking, sometimes, and even have a killer take back your meds program to keep expired prescriptions out of the wrong hands, looking at you, Aunt Mildred, and your questionable pill collection. But hey, a little humor never hurt anyone, except maybe that undercover agent who got busted at a disco for excessive enthusiasm on the dance floor. So, the next time you hear about the DEA, remember, they're the folks who bring the enthusiasm and questionable fashion sense to the fight against illegal drugs. Just don't get caught snacking on your grandma's anxiety meds, or they might come knocking with a warrant and a serious case of the munchies. Buckle up, because we're about to meet a DEA agent whose fashion sense is sharper than his instincts. This guy, with a suit so pressed it could iron wrinkles out of time travel. A DEA agent with a pressed suit and a swagger that could curdle milk pulls up to a dusty farmhouse. Stepan out with sunglasses perched on his nose, he cracks his knuckles and approaches a weathered farmer. All right, buddy, the agent says, voice laced with authority. I need to inspect this property for any illegal substances you might be cultivating. The farmer, a man with a sun-baked face and a slow drawl, leans on his shovel. Fair enough, he says, but you best steer clear of that yonder field. The agent scoffs. Mister, he booms, puffing out his chest. I have the full backing of the federal government. You see this badge? He reaches into his pocket, whips out his ID, and practically shoves it into the farmer's face. This badge means I can go wherever I damn well please, no exceptions. Now, do we have an understanding? The farmer, trying hard not to grin, mumbles an apology and ambles off to tinker with his tractor. A few minutes later, the piece is shattered by a blood-curdling scream. The farmer looks up to see the DEA agent, face pale and tie flapping in the breeze, being chased across the field by a bull the size of a small tank. This beast wasn't your average pasture ornament. It had horns like sharpened fence posts and eyes that could turn curds back into milk. With every thunderous bellow, the bull gained ground, and it looked certain the agent would be launched into the stratosphere before reaching the safety of the fence. The farmer, unable to contain his amusement any longer, throws down his tools and sprints towards the fence line. 
As the agent scrambles closer, desperately clawing at the barbed wire, the farmer leans over and yells with all his might, Show him the badge! Show him the badge! <laughs> if you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.